Hi everyone, it's Malware back again with another video and currently as you can see on my screen I'm on the website of the Easy Council and like the video or the title of this video said I was able to I am going to review the certified ethical hacker practical exam and as you can see on my screen I was able to complete the exam and pass it so I'm going to answer five questions and the five questions are this one so the first question is what is the exam like the exam I can say is for me is quite good so far and at least the easy cancel have at least allowed someone to do practical since they have the ethical hacker and having just a theory knowledge is not enough for it so providing a practical exam for their students is a nice move from easy cancel then the exam is not that uh, it's not going to use the your own BM they will provide it to you and then the proctor is, uh, will always be there if you have if you want to ask something you just talk to him and then the exam I won't be able to tell you what's the content of the exam, but if you have enough knowledge, uh, experience, or have done EJPT and OSCP, I think the exam will be easy for you. So, next question is How hard is the exam? Oh, I already answered that one, but yeah, just like I said, if you have experience and have done EJPT from eLearn Security and OSCP from Offensive Security, I think the exam will be easy for you. The only concern for me is they're using browser based, so I expect the, that sometimes it's a little bit laggy and slow. It's what I encounter almost. I'm, I'm kind of angry about it because I have to sometimes wait 10 minutes for my system to, how do you call this one, to stop loading. Hate it, promise. If I'm going to request something from Insta Council, it could be, it's better to allow their students to use their own VM rather than or their own machine rather than doing the browser base because that's the only concern about browser base it's slow but like it's but but the good thing about this one is the VM provided by the AC Council have all the tools you need for the exam you just have to have the knowledge how to use it so the next question is this one how it differs from other certificate out there so what i can say is certified ethical hacker is ejpt with a oscp by why since the exam of the Certified Ethical Hacker Practical is the same as EJPT but with an added time limit of 6 hours and the proctor same as what the OSCP is doing. Yeah, that's how it differs from the other certificate out there. So the next question is this. Should I take the CH practical exam? 
okay this is one is for my point of view only and what I'm going to say is this CH is widely known on DHR if you have this DHR will automatically no like the pre free ticket for an interview <laughs> yeah that's how certified ethical hacker or easy counsel is known so if you want to get your foot on the on the door for the job i recommend the ch practical exam by the way that's not the only reason if easy counsel have not added the ch practical exam i would not recommend it theory for the theory exam for me the ch is quite expensive for just the theory you could have taken ejpt from e-learn security or comtia security plus for from comtia and they will provide you the same knowledge as what the certified certified ethical hacker theory and the practical if the theory comtia security plus can provide it to you if the practical ejpt can provide it to you but as of now certified ethical hacker or the easy counsel certificates are widely known unlike ejpt which is so far making their name or the inner security is making their name and starting to get widely known so i and the ejpt is not that expensive and they will you could have tried it also but since this is about certified ethical hacker review uh, i still recommend it taking it that one if again if you want to get your foot on the door and also and also if you have the money to take the training along with it but if you want to take they don't take the training i think they you can buy their voucher i don't know what's the price but i think it's around 500 dollars something usd yes uh, so that's what my opinion on should i take the ch practical exam so the next question and the last question that i'm going to answer is What is your tip for taking the exam? So, my tip for the one taking the exam or for the for the people taking the exam is to read the question properly. Everything is provided to you by the EC Council. The EC Council made a good job with it, and the only thing really I hate about the exam is the browser base. It's damn slow. But aside from it, what I'm going to tell you is be patient since, like I said, it's sometimes the browser base or the VM on the browser is slow. And then next is understand the question properly. If you understand the question properly, you could answer the exam easily or the question easily. You see, it is because the easy council make it the exam as direct to the point you you won't have to um, make things hard you just have to understand the question that's it so this is my review for the ch exam and i hope i made a good review about it and uh, oh, for those person that's going to take the CH exam I bid you good luck and you can do it so bye bye and thank you